What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Holiday World in Dallas and I know I say I'm excited before just about every video, but I am genuinely really, really excited about this unit. I've been waiting for months for this to come in. It is a Keystone Carbon 398 and basically what makes this so exciting is this is a brand new floor plan from Keystone in a toy hauler that gives it a 17 foot garage. So prior to this, Keystone hasn't had any toy haulers that give it bigger than a 15 foot garage. Now this Carbon is going to implement a 17 foot garage and on top of that, it is going to have two full bathrooms. So the 17 foot garage puts it in the ranks of something like a Grand Design Solid or a Grand Design Momentum, sorry, that the Grand Design Momentum 398, uh, I believe theirs is a 398 as well, has that 18 foot garage, but theirs does not have a full bath back in the garage. So that's gonna be kind of what differentiates it from that product. But with all that said, let's go take a look at this thing. Welcome back to another video, y'all. Again, my name is Miles with Holiday World in Dallas, Texas. And if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. And if you get something out of it, consider hitting the like button and definitely the subscribe button down below and become a part of this growing community of RVers across the world. And if you'd like to connect with me on different social media platforms, the links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook will be down below in the description so you can find those there. And finally, if you're looking to purchase your next RV, and my videos have inspired you to give Holiday World a chance, whether it be at my Dallas location or one of our other locations. When you give us a call or you come into one of our stores, just let whoever greets you know that you saw my videos on YouTube. That's just one small thing you can do to make sure I get recognition for the videos that I make. So as we start looking at this carbon, let's get the specs out of the way real quick. I'll get the floor plan and specs up here on the screen. And then we'll look at the sticker here, see the actual specs for the unit. So. Looks like we're at a length of 40 foot five, six inches. And already this early on, you're getting a prime example of how exhausted I was making this video in the 100 degree heat out here. Obviously that says 45 feet, six inches, not 40 foot five, like I said. That is the longest toy hauler I have seen from Keystone in the two years that I've been here at this dealership. And your weight is gonna be 14,500 pounds. So not too heavy um, considering the size, but 14.6. And then I said 14.6 instead of 45 foot six inches and didn't even realize it. So somebody come get your boy because obviously I was struggling and I need like a nice ice cold glass of water or something. Definitely going to be the longest toy hauler floor plan that Keystone is going to offer right now that I know of. So this is the Keystone Carbon. Now, if you're not familiar with the Carbon brand, but you're familiar with Keystone product, Keystone also makes the Raptor, which is another toy hauler. The Carbon is basically going to be the little brother to the Raptor. So it is a much more budget friendly option. Now you do lose out on a couple things that the Raptor is gonna have. Like you can see you have one awning out here as opposed to two awnings. So little things like that. Um, it's just a little bit more of a stripped down version to get it into a little bit more price friendly point but still offers a lot of the same styling and design that you get from raptor and is a really nice looking model here and again like i said having the 17 foot garage is just going to be huge i just can't think of how many people i've talked to over the past few years that are looking for something like this and it just hasn't been available so really excited to see this wouldn't be surprised too if they implement this and maybe some of their other brands but carbon the first one to unveil it so we're gonna take a look at everything. As you get a look at the outside, you'll see you have your patio set up here on the back. And one thing that is pretty cool, we ordered this, this is an additional option, but you have the tinted glass doors with the screens going to the pad or going into your garage out from your patio. So that's something that you can add on as an option. We ordered it that way. So like to see that, because a lot of times on toy haulers, especially in this price range, they're gonna come with maybe a pull down screen if that. So nice to see that there. Because it is a 2022, you do have the solar panel on the roof, which I will get up there and show you that real quick here. Keystone has definitely succeeded in becoming the industry leader in solar solutions straight out of the factory. So you have a 200 watt solar panel that's gonna come standard on this carbon toy hauler. It does also have a charge controller that you'll have in your pass through storage underneath, which we'll look at in just a second. But that is something that is gonna come standard across all of your Keystone products. And you have it here, obviously, on this 2022 Carbon. And I should say all of your 2022 Keystone products. Now, another thing that's going to differentiate this from some other higher priced toy haulers is this one here is going to have one AC up here in the bedroom. And then 
one AC in your living area, and then that'll be it. It'll just be the two ACs on this unit. So no third AC on this carbon. That is something that also differentiates it as far as price point goes from something like a Keystone Raptor. All right, we'll continue around the outside here. You can see you have the ladder to access your roof, which I just climbed to get up there. You're gonna have 30 gallons of fuel capacity. So this here will be your fuel station. The 30 gallons will be split between whatever you wanna use it for as far as your pump goes. Plus it will be designated for the generator as well. You're gonna have six point leveling on here. So you'll have two stabilizers behind the wheels, two in front of the wheels, and then two up front. So you'll have six point total for your auto leveling system. It's gonna come with a Moride CRE 3000 suspension. So between this and Road Armor, I always say, those seem to be the two best options coming out of the factory. And this Moride CRE 3000 is going to have your rubber gaskets in here that absorb a lot of the shock as you're going down the road to make that a much more comfortable ride and better for your unit as far as as it's going down the road, making sure things aren't shaking too terribly inside of there. Obviously, things are going to move around, but it's not too terrible. Now, one of the biggest things that comes on this carbon is going to be your water heater. It is a on-demand water heater, which absolutely nothing else in this price point for a toy hauler is going to have an on-demand water heater. So love to see that. That's something they implemented in 2021 and they were the first, them and Raptor were the first toy hauler brand to have a on-demand water heater be the standard out of the factory. So pretty cool to see that. You have your battery terminal here. You will have three different places to put batteries. So you can put up to three batteries in that spot and all of your water hookups right here. So a really nice laid out spot. What I like about this most is how this door opens up to the side. You can see as you approach this, you don't have to duck or crouch below anything to get into this cavity here and gonna be very easy to work with. Also, you have a battery disconnect, which will basically shut off all your power to your batteries if you wanna just kill all the uh, power to the batteries and not have to go through and turn off each individual light and stuff like that. Plus you have key TV, which we talk about a lot with the Keystone products, basically gonna be your best solution and easiest solution if you wanna get satellite in your RV to watch different channels, basically just like at home. The pre-wiring is already done on the unit. So that little blue um, tab right there has the wire going all the way up to the roof that is already installed. So if you do put a satellite on the roof, that wiring is there. It would basically just come right out of here, plug into this spot right here, and then that is gonna send your feed to all your different TVs inside of the unit. And if each TV has its own satellite box, you can watch your own individual channels on each television. Coming to the front, you are gonna have, look at the front cap one more time, and then you'll have your docking lights underneath here. So you have blue LED lights right there around the edge, and then you have two docking lights up underneath here. You're gonna have a Road Armor pin box on here. It looks like this is the Road Armor pin box. It doesn't have any branding on it, but it looks like the Road Armor pin box. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, it does have the um, rubber gasket on here and this is gonna tilt back and forth. I guess I shouldn't say it's a Road Armor pin box since it doesn't say that on there, but it looks just like it. So it may or may not be, it may be something else. Um, but what I do know is it has a rubber gasket here and it's gonna pivot back and forth. So if you are towing with a fifth wheel hitch, it is gonna absorb a lot of that shock as you go up and down the road, brake and accelerate, things like that. Up underneath here is your generator. So you will have the Onam 5,500 watt generator. Like how it has a nice slam latch door on here. So real easy to close. And then you'll have your propane bottles up underneath here. So two 30 gallon propane bottles is what it'll come with out of the factory. Coming to the other side, to your main side. This is gonna be just your hydraulic setup here. So your hydraulic fluid for the auto leveling system. And then finally your pass-through storage. It does have a really small pass-through storage, but it is on a slide out tray. So you can pull this out here and you'll have that front storage right here. It doesn't pass all the way through, but that's why they give you the tray. So you'll have that. You also have TV hookups here. So if you did want to mount a TV on the sidewall, a lot of people don't know, but you can get mounts that go on the sidewall right here, and then it will allow your TV to actually slide out and then pivot around so you can have it right there. Or you can set it up on a table outside of here. This is the solar charge controller I was talking about. So that there is gonna monitor the charge on your battery. It's gonna make sure that it doesn't overcharge the battery and it will connect to your phone. So there's a smartphone app where you can see the charge level of your battery from that solar panel. 
Also, the solar on these is going to be an expandable system. So it comes with the 200 watt solar panel standard and then this unit does not have an inverter on it. But you can get an inverter if you want and then you could add on to the solar as well if you want more solar capabilities. A lot of people, you know, are, seem to be, when they talk about solar, thinking that, you know, they may be able to run everything off of it and that's simply just not gonna be the case. Um, basically with like this solar setup, you're gonna get enough power to keep your battery charged, which is going to make sure that all your components that run off the battery, like your slide outs, your awnings, your refrigerator, your lights, stuff like that is going to always be accessible. And then if you go up to like 400 watts or 600 watts of solar, then you'll start getting things like your outlets will have um, solar capabilities or be powered from solar inside. And you'll just get a little bit more strength in that regard. Um, but getting to the point where solar is gonna be strong enough to run your ACs and microwave and stuff like that, Montana right now is really the only out of the factory solution that they have where it's like a $20,000 add-on for their super solar flex. And that's something that is only exclusive to Montana for right now that I understand. So I wouldn't expect to run everything on your unit off of solar, plus having a generator on this toy hauler, you don't really need to anyways. So. That's just about everything on the outside. Just want to make sure we covered it all. You do have like a nice LED light up there. And then you have one back over here as well. It has a TPO roof. So the roof is TPO and it is made by Alpha Flex. Comes with an 18 year warranty. So that's a huge point as well. Just the warranty that you get on the roof materials. And that's just about it. Let's uh, hop inside this bad boy and see what the inside is looking like. Okay, so as we go inside, I always like to point out we are a priority RV network dealer here at Holiday World of Dallas. Basically what that means to you is if you look at this map here, we have 130 different locations across the United States where if you have any sort of emergency while you are on the road traveling, say your AC goes out, your refrigerator stops working, have a major water leak, anything like that, any of these 130 different dealerships across the United States will get you in the front of the line at their service departments to try to get you back on your trip as quickly as possible and make sure you don't miss out on time travel that you have already planned for. So huge thing that is part of why we have a 4.9 star rating here at Holiday World of Dallas and that is something that you just automatically become a member of when you buy from us. So I want to point that out, but as we come inside, it's going to be a very traditional toy hauler floor plan, something you'll be familiar with if you've looked at toy haulers before. You have your living area out here, and it has a three cushion sofa. The third cu or the middle cushion there is a bigger one, but all three will come out and recline. And then you have the really tall slide out boxes, huge windows here and it comes with a 50 inch TV. You're gonna have storage underneath this space here. I'm assuming this is probably the same. Some of this stuff I haven't even looked at actually because we just got this thing in. So I've kind of walked through it, but I haven't opened everything up yet. You're gonna have all your sound controls right here. So CD, DVD, Bluetooth, all that stuff through there. And you have surround sound in here. So you do have your speakers up in the roof, right there or in the ceiling, I should say right there and up above my head where I'm currently standing, right there. It is solid surface countertops. That's one thing I really like to see in this price point. I know like the Fusion Impact that would compete with this brand does not have the solid surface countertops. So something that kind of differentiates that there. When you first walk in, you can see you have the, um, they have the designer flooring that they talk about here. You can see the different features that they talk about. But I wanted to point out, first of all, all your controls are right here when you walk in, but everything in here is soft close. So soft close cabinets and drawers, another thing I'm really impressed to see at this price point on this toy hauler. And as we talk about price point, I just noticed the sheet right here. So let's just look at it real quick. And this is gonna be the MSRP, so not our sales price. But you can see with every option that's added on here, it's at 106, 392. So, if you want to get a sales price on it, my contact information will be at the end of the video and I would love to help you out, get you that information. Unfortunately, I can't put any sales prices on YouTube or in the comments, but feel free to contact me with that number or email at the end of the video and I'd love to get you a sales price on it. Definitely going to come in much lower on the price point spectrum than something like a Raptor or Fusion for sure. So let's go through all the storage real quick before we hop into the garage. Um, Oh, this is a nice little storage compartment here. This goes all the way up. And this is going to be right next to the TV. 
Got storage up above. It looks like this passes all the way through. Yep, it sure does. So all your storage up there. Soft clothes makes these a lot easier to go through and close. Then you have a massive pantry. This is something I really like about this floor plan because pantries are a lot of times not in particular toy hauler floor plans. So you get an actual good sized pantry with about foot deep. These shelves go about a foot deep. They might even be a little bit more than a foot, but definitely a good sized pantry. And you have deep storage up above here as well. And then this model comes with the RV refrigerator. So it is gonna be propane and electric. See the space you have in here and then your freezer more storage up above here and you're gonna have a three burner cooktop it is a furion cooktop All right, pardon the interruption. It is nearly 100 degrees out here in Texas today. It's like 98, 99 degrees outside. No AC running in this thing, and my phone overheats very quickly filming in 4K. So I apologize. It's hard for me to understand the pace of the video as I'm making it. If I feel like I'm rushing through it, I definitely don't intend to. I'm just trying to get as much shot before my phone overheats as I can. So definitely out here working in this heat, trying to deliver on this video for y'all. So hopefully y'all appreciate that and enjoy it. But let's keep looking through here. Okay, so you're gonna have this cool looking spice rack here. This is pretty unique. I think this is new. I haven't seen this in a lot of the carbon stuff before. So pretty neat little drawer that they add in there. And then, like I was saying, you have the three burner cooktop. It's gonna be a Furion stove. And then you'll have your pretty traditional sized RV oven as well, plus a nice big storage drawer underneath there. You do have a window back behind here as well for more natural light storage next to the microwave and up above the microwave and then it's going to be a standard size microwave here nothing crazy looks like across here you're going to have your outlet there plus you have a nice looking backsplash this is going to be just kind of like a pressed on faux tile type of backdrop but looks or backsplash but looks really good um you have another outlet there as well three drawers or cabinets sorry up along here for more storage all soft clothes as we've been talking about storage all underneath here three drawers that'll open up this is probably going to be and it looks like you know what i'm testing these out and it looks like it's not soft closed drawers so it's just going to be soft closed cabinets on everything in here but i wanted to show you all the storage space that you have and then it will have your trash can underneath here as well this is a pretty good sized cavity under here where your sink is at Single basin sink, it does come with your rollout um, cover so that you can drain stuff out on and whatnot. But single basin sink, nice black looking appliances and features throughout there. And you have your light fixture, plus your AC right overhead. Both your ACs will be ducted together. You can see they're using the blade vents in here. So we talked about this a lot with the Keystone products as well, but these blade vents, they push out air in a 360 degree motion. So unlike the directional vents, it's evenly dispersing the air across your entire RV, taking that cold air and pushing it down. And basically they found that these blade vents, they're cooling AC or RVs up to 20% quicker than the traditional directional vents. So that is something that they are really excited about. You have the Coleman Mach AC. So even though this isn't like a whisper quiet system, this AC here is 12 decibels quieter than your traditional RV AC. So it's still gonna be very quiet, hardly even noticeable when it's on. And that's just about everything out here. I do want to talk about the flooring real quick because they do use Dynaspan flooring in here, which is the same that you find in the Keystone Montana. The Dynaspan flooring is a single piece marine grade flooring. So it is all one piece, no seams or anything like that, which is very different than what you see in a lot of other RV brands. That one piece prevents any from having any spots where, you know, you have basically two seams come together and then you can kind of feel where those seams are at in the floor as you step around. Won't be the case in here because it's all one single piece. And because it is marine grade, you can actually have that, like have water sitting on that flooring and it would never absorb into the floor. So has a 25 year warranty and Keystone has never had a warranty claim on that flooring. So something definitely worth pointing out. Coming into this space, you have a really nice looking glass door here with a wooden frame around it. And then 
open this up here. It does have a nice latch. I'm not gonna latch it, but you can actually latch it there so it does stay open. And then I got the tape measure out because I know how y'all are with toy haulers. You can see all the advertised lengths online and stuff, but y'all don't believe it till you actually put a tape measure on it. So you can see here, let's get down close to it. The end of the garage is right at 17 feet. Now, if you're going to where this part ends, because this is kind of what your true length is gonna be if you keep these doors here, you're gonna be at about 16 feet, four or five inches. So you're gonna be at about 195, 196 inches or so to the glass doors. So that'll be your length on this toy hauler here on the garage portion. As you can see, you do have the patio set up out here. So I don't have it fully set up, but you have your gate that will go around the perimeter and you can have your patio out here. You do have an awning overhead as well with two LED lights. So great uh, spot to hang out. And then what I mentioned is you have these glass doors here. So you can see these are three season doors, which I was really surprised to see these on the carbon. This is actually tinted glass. So no pull down screens, no janky like, you know, plasticky materials or anything like that. They're actually glass doors. And then the glass does go down to give it a screen right here. So this is just a screen because I have the glass down on that one. So you can get airflow through here as well. Then with this being this large of a garage, you see all of the entertainment space that you have here. So you're gonna have the four sofas if you want them set up in this arrangement. They both flip over and go like this right here to come together and make into a bed. So I'll do it on this side as well so you can see. So then you can have a bed formation there. So you have a queen size bed here. Same thing there, queen size bed it can make into. And then two queen size beds up above. So one here that will come down, one there that will come down. You could sleep up to eight people in this garage just on the bed space alone, which is absolutely crazy. That's something that is so appealing about this particular floor plan and is really, really awesome and unique. Another really important thing to point out, if you do plan on hauling toys, you do have tie downs here that are welded to the frame. So these tie downs are welded to the frame, have a 5,000 pound capacity. So that way you don't end up like the person here on these pictures this is something i found off a of facebook group but they were in a xlr toy hauler and those tie downs are not welded to the frame and this is what can happen if your tie downs are not welded to the frame so keystone across all their toy haulers always welds the tie downs to the frame and you get that peace of mind knowing that if you have something back here it is going to stay in place as you're traveling down the road so very important aspect to be aware of it does also come with a step that will go off the patio. So it'll have a rear access onto the patio with that step. Then you'll have a carpet in here so you can lay carpet down all the way across here to give it a more residential feel. And you'll have your ladder here to get up onto the top bunks. So that's everything back in the garage. They also come with these nice blackout curtains here. They're pretty unique and different. Um, so you could take those off if you want the natural light or leave them up if you want it completely blacked out back here. And that's pretty much it. AC is ducted back into the space as well. So you do have like AC vents up in there. I'm sure you can probably see them, but you'll have your AC vents in here. So you are getting heat and cooling into here and you have the Dynaspan flooring going all the way back through this toy hauler part as well. Finally, you have outlets right here as well. So two sets of outlets and I believe, yeah, you're gonna have outlets up above the bunks as well. So there's like an outlet right there. And I would imagine there's probably one up above this bunk somewhere as well too, but I haven't put that bunk down yet, so I can't tell. But you definitely have an outlet up there. And washer dryer prep will be in here as well. So if you want the washer dryer, it will go in the garage right here. Then the other really cool thing about this floor plan is you have a full bathroom back in this garage. So you have your sink, a tub and shower combo. I think people are really gonna love this, having the tub back here if you have kids or whatnot. You can use that tub. Plus you get the shower and the toilet. So really awesome to see that and see that you get a full bathroom back here. That's something that's really gonna differentiate this from anything else on the market that has this size garage is getting a full bath back here. So pretty incredible seeing that. I think that completes everything in the garage space. So let's go back up here and get into the bedroom and bathroom, main bathroom. As we come up here, you'll see you have your um, water heater controls. It's the on-demand water heater. You can see how dang hot it is in this RV and why my phone keeps overheating and why I am sweating my balls off right now, but it's all good. Um, 
so <laughs> I just totally lost my train of thought saying that. But anyways, um, got your toilet in here. I think it's going to be, yeah, porcelain toilet. And you're going to have a residential one-piece fiberglass shower. So love to see that in this price point of toy hauler as well. Plus it has an adjustable shower head and looks really nice. And you're going to have all your storage along here. You have your towel rack so you can hang up stuff there and then you'll have your medicine cabinet right here which I'll show you your storage inside of there of course you have your fan in here as well and your ac duct so you'll have those and you have the skylight in the shower for added height for you taller people out there like myself and finally going into the bedroom there's going to be a queen size bed and you have your wardrobe in the slide out so you're going to have all this wardrobe storage in your slide out here makes it also a little bit more weight friendly since you don't have a huge slide out and you'll have all your room to hang clothes there storage back in here these are all soft clothes as well and then three drawers that are all going to be the same size coming down there another cool thing about this carbon product is you have wireless chargers so both your nightstands are going to have wireless charging here Plus you have your outlets that will be inverter prep. So if you do get an inverter, you can get power to these outlets from the solar panel. So have storage underneath this spot here too, just a little bit and storage up above your head. And you should have storage underneath the bed as well. Let's check that out and see though, cause could be wrong. Oh, nope, there it is. And that's your table. So this table can be used in the garage space or really wherever you see fit. Plus this storage goes all the way back to the front cap up there as well so big storage space and that's pretty much it i'm gonna try to get out of this thing because i am so dang hot i'm melting in here um tv prep so if you do want to put a tv it is all ready to go right there and you have your ac in the bedroom so you can stay nice and cool and that's pretty much it let's get back out into the living area so you can get one final look through this toy hauler and then we'll wrap this thing up All right, y'all, that was such a crazy time trying to make that video with how hot it was. My phone overheated like four times. So I'm back here the next day to finish this up. If there's anything that I missed, let me know down below in the comments or if there's anything that you wanna know that I may not have touched on, we can talk down there. And then my contact information will be at the end of the video, one of these directions, I always forget. But at the end of the video, you'll find my contact information, my phone number or email to contact me if you have any questions about pricing or wanna set up a time to come look at one of these units in person or look at this carbon in person. So reach out to me there. Hit the like and subscribe button down below if you enjoyed the video. Become a part of this community and hit that like button if you got something out of this video. And then finally, if you come to a Holiday World store, whether it be my location here in Dallas or one of our other stores in Houston or New Mexico, if you come in or if you give them a call, just let them know that you saw my videos and that was what inspired you to give Holiday World a chance with our business. And that's just one small thing you can do to help me out and make sure I get recognition for the work that I put into these videos. So I'd really appreciate that. And with all that said, until next time, I'll see y'all out camping.